Greetings, in the name of our Lord God and Savior, Yahshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, our salvation. Today is October 23rd, 2015. Here in this video, I'll be sharing the vision the Lord gave me, and more importantly, what I believe to be the Bible prophecies He requires I read out loud for us today. Yesterday, while on my bed, just prior to taking a nap, Lord gave me a vision of what appeared to be a cartwheel as though floating in the midst of a beautiful blue sky, far more superior and majestic than what you see here. I shamefully admit I didn't ponder the vision as I should have, at least not up until this morning after viewing YouTube's Nemesis Maturity's cloaked starship posting of NASA capturing on camera a floating cloud-like object in space. Instantly I was reminded of the floating cartwheel vision Lord gave me yesterday and was then prompted to Google cartwheel images, which led me to an article about the cartwheel galaxy. According to Wikipedia, the cartwheel galaxy is a lenticular galaxy and ring galaxy about 500 million light years away in the constellation Sculptor. For more information, please see links in the description box below. The Holy Spirit then caused me to remember what Scripture says about cartwheels and their association with the Chaldeans slash fallen angels and their ships, their ships possibly being what astronomers may deem as floating galaxies, yet Scripture may refer to as celestial abodes or heavenly chariots. The prophecies I believe associated with the vision come from the book of Isaiah chapters 28, 33, and 43 of which I'll be reading portions thereof for us now from the New King James Version, starting with Isaiah chapter 28. Woe to the crown of pride, to the drunkards of Ephraim, whose glorious beauty is a fading flower which is at the head of the verdant valleys, to those who are overcome with wine. Behold, the Lord has a mighty and strong one, like a tempest of hail and a destroying storm like a flood of mighty waters and overflowing, who will bring them down to the earth with his hand. The crown of pride, the drunkards of Ephraim, will be trampled underfoot, and the glorious beauty is a fading flower which is at the head of the verdant valley, like the first fruit before the summer, which an observer sees. He eats it up while it is still in his hand. In that day the Lord of hosts will be for a crown of glory and a diadem of beauty to the remnant of his people, for a spirit of justice to him who sits in judgment, and for strength to those who turn back the battle at the gate. But they also have erred through wine, and through intoxicating drink, are all out of the way. The priest and the prophet have erred through intoxicating drink. They are swallowed up by wine. They are out of their way through intoxicating drink. They err in vision. They stumble in judgment. For all tables are full of vomit and filth. No place is clean. Whom will he teach knowledge? And whom will he make to understand the message? Those just weaned from the milk? Those just drawn from the breast? For precept must be upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little, there a little. For with stammering lips and another tongue he will speak to this people, to whom he said, this is the rest with which you may cause the weary to rest. And this is the refreshing, yet they would not hear. But the word of the Lord was to them, precept upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little, there a little, that they might go and fall backward and be broken and snared and caught. Therefore hear the word of the Lord, you scornful men, who rule this people who are in Jerusalem, because you have said, We have made a covenant with death, and with Sheol we are in agreement. When the overflowing scourge passes through, it will not come to us, for we have made lies our refuge, and under falsehood we have hidden ourselves. Therefore thus says the Lord God, Behold, I lay in Zion a stone for a foundation, a tried stone, a precious cornerstone, a sure foundation. Whoever bleeds will not act hastily. Also I will make justice the measuring line, and righteousness the plummet. 
the hail will sweep away the refuge of lies, and the waters will overflow the hiding place. Your covenant with death will be annulled, and your agreement with Sheol will not stand. When the overflowing scourge passes through, then you'll be trampled down by it. As often as it goes out, it will take you. For morning by morning it will pass over, and by day and by night it will be a terror just to understand the report. For the bed is too short to stretch out on, and the covering so narrow that one cannot wrap himself in it. For the Lord will rise up as Mount Perizim. He will be angry as in the valley of Gibeon, that he may do his work, his awesome work, and bring to pass his act, his unusual act. Now therefore, do not be mockers, lest your bonds be made strong. For I have heard from the Lord God of hosts, a destruction determined even upon the whole earth. Give ear and hear my voice, listen and hear my speech. Does the plowman keep plowing all day to sow? Does he keep turning his soil and breaking the clots? When he has leveled its surface, does he not sow the black cumin and scatter the cumin? Plant the wheat in rows, the barley in the appointed place, and the spelt in its place? For he instructs him in right judgment. His God teaches him. For the black cumin is not threshed with a threshing sledge, nor is a cartwheel rolled over the cumin. But the black cumin is beaten out with a stick, and the cumin with a rod. Bread flour must be ground, therefore he does not thresh it forever, break it with his cartwheel, or crush it with his horsemen. This also comes from the Lord of hosts, who is wonderful in counsel and excellent in guidance. Amen. Now for Isaiah 33, chapter 33, starting with verse 14. The sinners in Zion are afraid. Fearfulness has seized the hypocrites. Who among us shall dwell with the devouring fire? Who among us shall dwell with everlasting burnings? He who walks righteously and speaks uprightly, he who despises the gain of oppressions, who gestures with his hands refusing bribes, who stops his ears from hearing of bloodshed and shuts his eyes from seeing evil, he will dwell on high. His place of defense will be the fortress of rocks. Bread will be given to him. His water will be sure. Your eyes will see the king in his beauty. They will see the land that is very far off. Your heart will meditate on terror. Where is the scribe? Where is he who weighs? Where is he who counts the towers? You will not see a fierce people, a people of obscure speech beyond perception, of a stammering tongue that you cannot understand. Look upon Zion, the city of our appointed feasts, your eyes will see Jerusalem, a quiet home, a tabernacle that will not be taken down. Not one of its stakes will ever be removed, nor will any of its cords be broken. But there the majestic Lord will be for us a place of broad rivers and streams, in which no galley with oars will sail, nor majestic ships pass by. For the Lord is our judge, the Lord is our lawgiver, the Lord is our king. He will save us. Amen. And finally, our last prophecy comes from Isaiah 43, verse 14. Thus says the Lord, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, For your sake I will send to Babylon, and bring them all down as fugitives, the Chaldeans who rejoice in their ships. I am the Lord, your Holy One, the creator of Israel, your king. Amen. As also alluded to in the previous readings, I believe this verse speaks of Second Thessalonians 2 threes falling away, that is, the falling away of Satan and his minions, being cast down to earth, as Revelation 12, 9 states. Well, I guess that's enough to ponder for now. In closing, I'd like to remind you of what is written for us in 1 Peter 4.17. For the time has come for judgment to begin at the house of God. And if it begins with us first, what will the end be for those who do not obey the gospel of God? Amen. Thank you for listening, and may our Lord continue to bless and perfect all that which concerns us, for his name's sake and glory.